Hey Noblesville, it's Mayor Chris Jensen here once again from City Hall with another edition of the Friday Five, but this is coming to you on Thursday afternoon. So a little shake up in the Friday Five, the Thursday version of the Friday Five. You might be asking why we're doing this on Thursday afternoon. Uh, first of all, the main reason is that tomorrow, Friday, November 11th is Veterans Day. And not only do we want to take a minute and thank all those veterans, but we also want to make sure that you are aware of some of the upcoming events tomorrow where you could go and say thanks to the veterans in our community. So we're going to put this out on Thursday afternoon in case you want to plan ahead for your Friday uh, Veterans Day uh, here in the city of Nobles. So, so these are the five things you need to know going into a Veterans Day weekend here in the city of Nobles. Well, as I mentioned tomorrow, Friday, November 11th is Veterans Day. Let me first start out by saying thank you from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of all 70,000 residents who all of our members of our community have served in, in our armed forces. So thank you so much. We honor you on this day and appreciate your service, uh, those that are here with us and those who've gone before as well. I also want to take a minute and thank the 61 uh, employees of the city of Noblesville who have served in the military, including 51 members of our police and fire department. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you have done. Uh, tomorrow, on November 11th, there will be two opportunities for you here locally in downtown Noblesville to honor veterans. First will be 11 a.m. Friday, um, uh, November 11th, and the west side of the courthouse will be our Veterans Day Memorial Service. This is an annual event that we do um, in conjunction, and it's sponsored by the American Legion Post 45, as well as the Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 6246. 11 a.m. tomorrow, Friday, uh, November 11th, on the west side of the courthouse. Join us for a ceremony thanking and honoring veterans in our community. Second event you could come to would be from 3 to 6 p.m. on Friday at the Noblesville Boys and Girls Club, which is going to be our Hamilton County County Veterans Stand Down event. This is the second year for this. I joined last year uh, a group. That, there's a lot of um, organizations there that support veterans that will be in attendance and it will have a brief ceremony as well to honor our veterans again from 3 to 6 p.m. tomorrow, November 11th at the Boys and Girls Club. The Hamilton County Veterans Stand Down organization will be going on, so please join us. Just so you know, county and government offices will be closed tomorrow on Friday as well, um, but obviously emergency personnel will uh, be op operating throughout the city as normal. Second thing you need to know on this weekend, the State Road 32 and 38 roundabout. Oh man, so excited. Every time I drive through it, I love it. Um, just last night I came on 38 and headed west off on 32. It was glorious. So the road is open, but the project's not complete. You probably have noticed that since there's missing a few things over there. The roadway does remain under construction. So next week there's going to be some temporary lane restrictions for eastbound traffic in the inside lane of the roundabout to pour the truck apron. You probably have noticed it is missing the truck apron. That'll be poured next week. So there'll be some lane restrictions on the eastbound lanes there, the inside lane of the roundabout. Uh, Cary Road will also have lane restrictions next week. Flaggers will be on site to assist traffic movement around Taco Bell and Michelangelo. So no fear, you'll be able to get into those awesome and nobles little restaurants, but there'll be some flaggers there helping you do that. So again, bottom line, use some patience through there. It will be open, it's functional. Uh, you can get around the roundabout, but there are some last minute things that we're trying to add and, and make sure that we get the project complete and just bear with us as we do that. So thanks again for your patience. Third thing you need to know, you might have seen some more construction going on the far west side of Noblesville, downtown, with the site of the old Marsh site there, which is now the Nexus Apartment Buildings. Um, there are three buildings now that have their certificates of occupancy. The remaining two apartment buildings have completed drywall installation. They're starting finishings and next steps will be final inspections to get them their CFOs. So look for the buildings to be complete and available to rent by the spring. We just did a uh, really official ribbon cutting with them a few months ago. Great people over there. Go check out that project. It's a, it's a neat project uh, with really um, great amenities there. So check out our friends over at Nexus as they complete their project on the far west side of downtown. Fourth thing you need to know, I'll let us all rejoice. There is now some sculpture art in the roundabout at Hague Road and Kerrigan Road, thanks to our friends at Keep Noblesville Beautiful. If you are a north west sider of Noblesville up by the marina, you've noticed that there has been some footings in place for several months as we worked on this sculpture art at the roundabout at Hague and Kerrigan. Uh, this is sponsored by our friends at Keep Noblesville Beautiful. And the new sculpture is a sail away in Indiana sculpture. Um, it's a beautiful piece of art. Appreciate all the volunteers that helped get that installed last weekend. The artwork is of pelicans and sailboats, and they're by our good friend Kevin Huff, who does a lot of work for us here in the city of Noblesville. So Kevin, once again, awesome job 
Uh, it was installed, as I said last weekend, by Keep Nobles Look Beautiful and my good friends Jack Martin of Martin and Martin's Insurance and Darren Peterson of Peterson Architecture, two awesome staples in downtown, help lead the charge in that project. So thank you, gentlemen. Thank you to our friends at Keep Nobles Look Beautiful. Thanks to our residents who are patient while we got that installed last weekend. And I hope you enjoy a little sculpture art in our roundabouts up near our marina and Morris Reservoir. Final thing you need to know, uh, I know I announced this last week as well, but coming up next week on uh, Monday at 4 p.m., rain or shine, we are breaking ground on the Pleasant Street Economic Development Corridor. Um, again, if you want to learn about what that project is, visit reimaginepleasantst.com to learn more about it. Uh, but we'll be breaking ground on it. I want to personally invite you, if you would like to attend that groundbreaking, uh, the site is 17330 River Road is where we'll be breaking ground on that project. It's a project 37-ish years in the making. Uh, it's a project to help add east to west capacity in our community and, and reduce downtown traffic to support our business owners in downtown. So a much needed project. We would love you to attend. As I said, if you're excited about it, attend. If you're frustrated that we're going to build a new road and there's more construction, attend. There'll be, the, I said cookies. I think they're actually cupcakes. Regardless, they'll be sweets. So come and join it. Join us. Have a conversation with us. We'd love to see you there as we break ground on this transformational project in the city of Noblesville. Next Monday at 4 p.m., rain or shine. Again, reimaginepleasantst.com is the place you should go to learn more information about that project. Those are the five things you need to know going into this great weekend. Again, thank you veterans for all that you do. If any of you have any ideas or suggestions that you'd like to share with me, feel free to give me a call here at City Hall, shoot me an email, cjensen at noblesville.in.us or again, text or call personal cell phone 317-509-3134. Stay safe, Noblesville, and we'll see you next Friday.